degree is lines. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we're going to be playing with a new-ish palette. Yeah, I have got the new Cash Beauty Color Trip palette. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. We have got this palette to test out and play with today. Let's jump straight on into it. If you don't know who runs Cash Beauty, she is an influencer on... Instagram, TikTok, pretty sure she has YouTube as well. And her name, her name's Khalid. I am really sorry if I'm butchering this. I know that she's like Irish, so I'm like not 100% sure how to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, she's incredible. She creates the most amazing looks. And she came out with this brand, I think it was about, was it about a year ago now? maybe just less than a year something like that she's come out with this brand and she's creating her own makeup which is insane so incredible so i know that she already came out with um let's have a little look she came out with a couple of other different palettes but i don't have them i don't have anything from cash beauty other than this because i saw this and i was like this is up my alley so yeah she does have um she's got lipsticks lip liners lashes she's got like blush sticks um bronzer sticks she's got sponges she's got like a whole like lip set she's got her own brushes um what else she got? i think pretty sure she started with brushes like brushes and um lipsticks she's got two different eye she's got two other different eyeshadow palettes which are definitely more on like the neutral tone side. She's got eyeshadow toppers. Yeah, she's got quite a few different things. But this is her biggest palette. And yeah, this drew me in. The whole palettes that she's got, they were nice. But they just weren't really my kind of thing. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, this is a bit of me. So yeah, this palette retails for £39.95 on the Beauty Bay website. Pretty sure it's probably similar on Be Perfect as well. I think she might have her own website, but I'm not too sure if it's like Euros. Is it Euros? I think it could be Euros, yeah. But yeah, I got this off I got mine off Beauty Bay because I get my next day delivery on Beauty Bay, so yeah. Um so I am so ex super excited. Let's get straight on into it. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like, as you can kind of see, and it's like a sleeve. So I actually love this though, like look at this, so it's in there and then you push it out, oh look at that, I I love this, this just speaks for itself, I really like it, it's nice and sleek but it says what it wants to on the packaging, it is a colour trip, yeah I love it. So the packaging's the packaging on the outside is pretty basic. It's literally just this on the back. It doesn't have anything, but on the sleeve it does have like your ingredients, that kind of thing. So it is cruelty free and it is vegan as well, which is actually really good to know. Um, so it just has like it has your ingredients in there. It has talc. It has mica. It has a load of other ones. Um, and then some colours contain pigments. And it looks like there's a lot of shades that do contain pigments, but it tells you all on the back, every single shade, that it's pigment. So, yeah, really nice. And then you open her up and you get an array of shades and you also get a big mirror as well. Should we do a little bit of an ASMR moment with the mirror plastic? I don't know whether it's going to be a very ASMR moment. satisfying i can't lie if you want me to do an asmr video guys let me know i don't think i'm relaxing at all but i've been told i have a relaxing voice don't really know where they get that from but yeah um so you get this huge mirror which is honestly is massive i like it i like it 
and then you get all of these incredible incredible shades and I am I'm obsessed so the first the first four rows are all eyeshadows so you have um you have 20 shades worth of eyeshadows honestly there's more mattes than there are shimmers but however the shimmers do look super unique um, especially like the blue shade and then the last row it looks like it is looks like it's liners and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of here for it I'm kind of here for the liners yes so I think these are ones you can just use with um water just water activated liners so we might give the them a go as well but look at them shades I literally I can't I actually cannot you get a white you get a black you get some like neutral tone brown shades which is always great to have in a palette and um, you've got a one tone brown shades you've got some like you got like an orange shade a deep red a nice copper shimmer shade then you've got purples you've got some pinks you've got some greens you have got a couple of like blue shades um you've got this neon neon yellow green um and you've got this also you've got this nice yellow here incredible so like she only has three shimmers in here however you can easily dip into another palette to grab a different shimmer if you wanted to but look at these these look insane insane i am super excited so i'm gonna quickly swatch a couple of the shimmers that really stand out to me because we just have to we have to swatch a few shimmers that look amazing okay so here's a few of the shades swatch that really stand out to me base of swatches they look really nice don't get me wrong but i'm a little bit i don't you guys know i don't like to base my opinions of swatches however just base of swatches so far they swatch nicely, however, I'm a little bit let down by a couple of the shades. However, I'm not gonna judge too quickly. Um, for instance, this shade is like the brightest neon yellow green and it doesn't swatch that way. Um, that shade, however, is beautiful. Like, that is stunning. I did think it was gonna be a little bit more pigmented, however, it is extremely reflective. So yeah, gorgeous. All the other shades seem to swatch fine as well um so yeah i'm gonna quickly go ahead i'm gonna prime my lids zoom you guys in and then we're gonna test out some of these incredible shades okay back i i think i'm gonna take the shade punk to start off with which is this purple shade here oh and um, so like i said i've already wait so i've already primed my lids and whatnot I use the beauty bay beauty bay the beauty bay eye base so i'm just gonna take that shade punk pop it on like i said i've never worked with her shadows before so i'm not really too sure what to kind of expect um But yeah we're just we're just gonna have a little play around we're just gonna see kind of what happens um just from swatches I, her some of her shadows feel a little bit dry but you know i thought we could use one of the liners as well There's not a lot of kick up in this shade, I do have to be honest. Um, but I feel like I don't know if that's just because like I'm having to dip in quite a bit, so it might be just be a little bit more like firmly pressed into the pan. So yeah. But still really nice shade. I'm gonna take the shade Freak, which is this one here. I feel like they look a lot more 
pigmented in the pan than what they actually are on when you like build when you like pack them on to the lid because this shade's a lot like this one here it looks a lot like i look at it and i think oh i can't like i need to use something else to blend this out with but actually like blending this out i think i could probably just use like a like a clean fluffy brush I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush um, just to like blend on the edges. I don't know if to take some of the white shade, you know, just to see how that works. Just see. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna go back into the shades again and I'm just gonna build them up again. Honestly, they seem to have blended, like, built it up and blended out beautifully together. So, yeah, I don't have any, any issues with them shades at all. I do want to try the, the liner shades. So I'm going to quickly just get a little bit of water and then we're going to test a couple of the shades out because, yeah, I just have to try... I have to try some. Okay, I don't know what shade to use. Like, I really want to try this shade, like the Love Book shade, but like this half of it. Um, so I think I might try that. I want to do something quite different. <laughs> I want to do something quite different, and I'm kind of nervous. Um, but yeah. I don't know if it's to do it on one eye first. I might do this eye off camera and then do this eye just so then I can see what to kind of do exactly. So I'm going to quickly do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. We've just gone for random lines, <laughs> to be honest with you. I don't hate it, to be fair. Um, I don't hate it at all. Uh, I think it's quite funky. It's quite funky. It's, def it's definitely funky. Let me say that it's definitely funky. Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to keep it more on the outer part. I was gonna put the shade acid on my inner corner. However, I tried that and I didn't like it. It was not pigmented enough. It didn't have the wow factor for me because it looks extremely pigmented in the pan. I was expecting more and I didn't get more so yeah so I'm going to quickly do this eye and we'll do it together so I can show you how I did it I can't lie um I wasn't ex ecstatic over the um over the liquid liners but yeah so I'm going to dip into the green shade first which is this shade from tropical fusion the bright green honestly i'm probably just going to use a mix of shades like i've done on this eye what i'm going to keep it more on the outer corner um to be honest so yeah i'm literally just going in i've already wet my brush i am literally just going in and applying random lines i don't think they're extremely pigmented at first i've definitely had to go in and build it up and whatnot probably just gonna say that I'm gonna dip into like the orange the yellow the bright pink shade maybe the purple I tried to use the purple on this eye and you can't really tell Um, I might go into the white as well so I'm just gonna say that I'm dipping into all them shades and yeah we're just gonna just gonna have a little play around I'm gonna dip into like that pink shade next Um. 
I found this one to be the like least pigmented to be honest like I've really had to go in and build it up quite a few times which is fine if you don't want it to be opaque however if you do want it to be opaque I'm then going to dip into the white shade this is definitely quite pigmented this white and then I'm going to go into the the yellow And I'm going to take the orange I'm going to turn to that purple shade again, I don't know where it's going to show up like that Ooh. I'm literally just messing around like I'm going to take the white again I think I'm going to leave the eyes like this just because I don't actually mind them. So yeah, it looks a bit crazy, but I'm kind of here for it. So I'm quickly just going to go ahead. I'm just going to do my, I don't know whether I wanted to apply that on the inner corner. Would that go on the inner corner? Well, we're going to put a little bit of this shade, which is the hypnotic shade. One of the shimmers in the palette, this one here. I don't know if it's going to work too well, but I'm going to try and put it on my inner corner because... Why not? We're here. Let's try a little bit. Oh! I, I don't actually hate that. I don't hate it. I'm just going to put this eye as well. I actually quite like this. I actually really like this shade. So, yeah. I'm quickly going to go ahead. I'm just going to do like my lashes, my base, everything off camera and then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about the palette and kind of give you guys my final thoughts on it. So yeah, I will be right back. Okay guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Please let me know. Let me know, I'm kind of here for it, kind of digging it. Um, so let's talk about the palette. Based off first impressions, I do quite like this. I like the packaging I like the color story I'm really drawn into this I know I haven't done like an amazing look today but yeah I don't I do quite like it um the shades seem to work well they seem to pack on well from the like the mattes that I use and I only use a couple of mattes but yeah the acid shade I do have to say I'm quite disappointed with that because it just wasn't that pigmented even from a swatch to trying it on my eyes, I just, no, it, no, it kind of let me down and it was the shade that I was most excited for. However, saying that I like the purples, the purples seem to work well, seem to blend well together. I really like this hypnotic blue shade, I think that is stunning. The water activated liners, why well, now dirty already don't hate them don't hate them don't love them they worked well i just think that they all worked kind of differently i mean they look fine on the eye i thought they 
would be a little bit more pigmented than, than what they were. However, I could be using them wrong. Let me know if I'm using them wrong, guys, because I'm trying my best and I thought you'd just have to use water and then just dip it in almost like a paint coat, like, you know, like a, when you use paints, I don't know, let me, like when you use like watercolour or something, let me know if, that's, if I'm using it the right way or if I'm using it the wrong way, but yeah, I mean, I feel like they are quite pigmented, but just not as pigmented as what I was expecting them to be and they kind of like took a little while to build up however other than that it's a nice palette it's it's quite nice it quite it's quite nice it works well if you don't need a rainbow palette you don't need this you don't need it in your life i didn't need it in my life but here we are um so yeah i do quite like this do i would i recommend it if you're eyeing it up it is good quality not my favorite palette just being honest just being real not my favourite palette, however, I still quite like it and I'm still quite impressed with it. So, yeah, if you're looking, if you were eyeing it up, purchase it because it is good quality. But it's just, it kind of reminds me of the Morphe and of Anti Greg palette. Like, I got that, I was expecting high hopes from it and I just didn't get the hopes that I was wanting. But yeah, it's still a good palette nevertheless and it is pigmented and it works and it does the job so yeah and i actually do really like this look i think it's very liney category is lines <laughs> so yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you do want me to do another video using the palette please just let me know because of course i will do that for you guys everything else i'm wearing on my face will of course link in the description box down below and yes i will see you guys in my next video bye